Well, Plum Local Animal Farm, in addition to being our own family home, full-time year-round, is a permanent home to over 60 farm animals, all of which you can pet and feed. Uh, we have a large herd of Shetland ponies, miniature Sicilian donkeys, miniature horses, full-size horses. We have four breeds of goat, three breeds of sheep, pot pigs, turkeys, and chickens. Um, I have been coming up to Door County for years. Uh, the first animal I ever pet was at a petting zoo in Door County when I was two years old, and I'm 56 now, so that was a long time ago. My parents honeymooned in Door County, and I was born and raised in Chicago, so this was a natural destination to come and visit um, with my own family when my son was little. Uh, and then I just decided it was time to get out of the city, and um, Jeremy and I both love animals, we love kids, we love nature, and so we sought out a farm in Door County that we could live on full time and have a permanent home to animals. Uh, that's probably my biggest mission, is wanting a safe and loving home for animals where they're loved and protected. And I knew that a lot of families come to Door County with children, and we wanted to provide a fun, imaginative place uh, in a peaceful, beautiful setting, and hey, Door County was the natural choice. Well, uh, I used to be a professor, I'm a social psychologist by profession, and I used to teach uh, in, Chica in the Chicago area, and when my colleagues found out that I wanted to buy a farm uh, and care for animals and open up to the public, uh, it was just a big joke. They thought it was hilarious, and I kept getting, are you crazy, are you nuts? And instead of calling me Dr. Steiner, they would call me Dr. Doolittle, and it was a big joke. And then we ended up moving out here, and we're surrounded by farmers mostly dairy farmers, and it, it turns out that they think we're pretty crazy too because all of our animals, the only reason we have them is to love them and appreciate them. So we're not milking anyone, butchering anyone, riding anyone, breeding anyone, and so we kept getting from everyone else around here, are you crazy? You know, if our goose is sick, we will have a vet out and spend whatever it takes to help our goose instead of eating it for dinner. So when we ended up buying a farm on Plum Bottom Road, it was a natural tie-in, and we wanted a title that was kind of whimsical, but also described um, the idea that we kept getting feedback that we're completely crazy. So Plum Local Animal Farm was born. Well, if you can see these buildings here, we've got our play farm. This is our farmhouse. The farmhouse has a fully stocked kitchen, tons of food, dishes, cups, teapots, aprons, pot holders, a little chef hat, cleaning supplies. We've got a barbecue grill and a broom so they can keep it nice and clean. Over on this side, we've got a play garden that's attached to the farmhouse, and the way these flowers work is they can be picked, they can be planted, the kids can take them in and out as they like. We have watering cans and a little bucket with gardening gloves. Around this side over here, we've got ourselves a little wash line. So as the kids want to do their laundry, they can hang their clothes up to dry. Wow. These also kind of do double duty as dress up clothes sometimes. Yeah. You can see in this area we have our lawn games going on where families can enjoy playing a game of ladder golf or beanbag toss. And over on this side, this is our barn. Now inside the barn we have a variety of tools. I'll go in and show you. You can stay out there because it might be too dark in here for you, but... Yeah. 
have a variety of various tools, landscaping equipment. We have a tool bench in here with all kinds of power tools. We have lawn mowers, wheelbarrows, pedal tractors. And around this side of the barn is our pony corral here, where we have a variety of plush horses that can go out to pasture or they can be in the corral. We've got a container here with some brushes. Would you like to come and brush one of the ponies? Come on. There you go. Here's your brushes. You can put a hat on too if you like. Now get out of your way. There you go. You can brush that horse. Brush that horse. That horse needs brushing. Very nice. Very nice. Can you, you can sit on him too if you like. She says no. She's like me. I don't like sitting on horses either. I like taking care of them. I don't like sitting on them and riding them though. And that's our pony corral. Now if your tractor runs out of gas, we do have a gas pump here. In fact, one day we found about $100 in play money shoved into the gas tank because the kids were under the impression they had to pay for their gas. <laughs> so they learn early. Now over here, over here is our general store, the Plum Loco General Store. And inside the general store, we have a farmer's market, a bunch of food, shopping carts to buy and sell, and it's child size. So they certainly love going in there and playing. They often do their shopping there and take it right back to the farmhouse. And then Jeremy and I have to come out here at least 10, 12 times a day during the busy season. And we reset everything so that every family and child can have their own unique experience. No fun having a farmhouse if there's no dishes in it. So that's a big part of our day is making sure everything stays clean and organized so every family has the Plum Local experience. Now over on this side, if you want to play a game of chess or checkers, we have our game board area. Um, we have our gazebos with seating and we have two cedar log gazebos where you'll also find reading material, the local papers, tourism guides, where to eat, where to stay, things to do with the kids. Uh, families often pack a picnic and they just set up at a table and they spend all day here, lay out on the lawn. Uh, so it really is, it's a very relaxing place. If you want to do a panoramic, you can see what's across the street. So as you're at Plum Loco, you've just got this wide open, peaceful view and surroundings. There's no traffic, no noise. It's just very relaxing and peaceful here at Plum Loco. All right, well, a lot of people ask us if we have pony rides here at Plum Loco. And although we tried to get that up and running, the insurance cost was just prohibitive. So what we do have for pony rides is Black Beauty here. Uh, Black Beauty is a vintage mechanical horse. So if uh, you're a baby boomer like me, you probably remember these outside of all of the uh, dime stores and grocery stores when you were a kid. Still 25 cents a ride. Have a nice dirty saddle on there. The kids love it. So that's Black Beauty. Come out and give them a ride. All right, so this is our Plum Local farm table here. And you can see that we have a variety of things for the kids to do. We set it up as an authentic farm in the morning, but then the kids can play in any way that they want. There's animals, tractors, barns. We've got a windmill here. And this is definitely one of the most popular features at Plum Local for kids to play with. All right, so we just left the play farm area and uh, adjacent to the play farm area is Animal Acres. Animal Acres is uh, where our animals are located at Plum Loco. So children have the choice between going and visiting the animals or hanging out in the play farm. You can go back and forth as often as you like. Um, you might want to get a close up of our Gandhi quote, which is uh, right here and sort of marks the entrance to Animal Acres. It says, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Uh, this kind of goes in line with our mission at Plum Loco. Um, we consider animals as beautiful, sentient creations that are worthy of respect, dignity, and, and love. 
the way that any human being would be. And so our animals have a permanent home for life here at Plum Loco. Um, you know, we don't just breed babies because they're entertaining. You might find babies at Plum Loco, but not always. You're going to find aging seniors as they live out their natural lives in, in peaceful retirement. And uh, we do everything we can to optimize their safety and their love and their respect from all of our visitors. So as we walk into Animal Acres, oh, here, here comes Sedona, one of our chickens. <laughs> she decided to run up and kind of see what's going on in the play farm. All of our chickens are, are free range. Uh, they provide us with wonderful eggs, more than we can eat, really, and so our neighbors benefit from that. Um, they were all handled as chicks and very gently with love and respect, so they're very tame, and the children that come to Plum Loco and enjoy their company. Isn't that right, Sedona? Yes, Sedona would like a little bit of green. Would Sedona like some green? She said, yes, she would. I said, oh, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Okay, that's nice. All right, well, our washroom facility at Plum Loco is known as the outhouse. And this outhouse, while it might say outhouse, uh, actually has full plumbing, is family friendly, uh, has a changing table with wipes, has all types of feminine products for the ladies that come to Plum Loco. We clean it several times a day, and even though it says outhouse on the outside, many people kind of hold their nose and get ready to hold their breath and then they're pleasantly surprised when they go inside and find that it's actually a very nice handicap accessible washroom with all the amenities that they might need while they're here at Plum Loco. Well, let's go meet our sheep. Our sheep were just shorn yesterday. Jordy, come on sheep. Come on sheep. Oh, sheeps! Sheeps! As you can see, our sheep are very friendly. They will come right up, and we have feeding stations at each one of our animal pens where they can eat right out of your hand. This is Jordan here. He's my baby. Now, the ones that I'm feeding now, these are Suffolk. These are Suffolk sheep. So when you guys are eating lamb chops, this is who you're eating. Uh, we rescued these guys when they were only five months old. That's the age that they are when they go to slaughter for lamb chops. But uh, these guys will never be lamb chops. They will never ever be a lamb chop. They will not. They will be loved and kissed and appreciated and all of those good things at Plum Loco. Yes, he will because I love that Jordan. Nah. This is Jordan. This is Cairo. And this is Kenya over here. We'll give Cairo a little bit more. And we'll give our Jordy a little bit more. All righty. And inside of our goat pen, we have a variety of different goats. This is Reza. This is Zulu. These two are brothers. They're boar goats. These guys here are two years old. Yes, they are. And they would like some grain too. And you can eat right out of their hand. In addition to the grain, you can also pick grass for these guys. They're going to eat that with just as much relish. They like, I said, just as much relish. Okay, so Reza said no, but Zulu said sure, why not? We have feeding stations here as well. So if you're a little bit shy about feeding them by hand, we have a place where you can just drop the grain right into and they will eat right out of this tray. And here's our chickies following us around looking for grain themselves. All right, chickies. So inside of this pen, we have a variety of goats. We have boar goats. We have pygmy goats. We have fainting goats. And we also have Nubian goats. Now, if we look over there, you can see our goat tower. Um, this is actually play equipment for our goats. A lot of people think that it's a tower for kids to play on, but it's not. It's for our goats. They have a blast climbing up on that thing and chilling up in the tower and looking at everybody. And over here is one of my favorite little babies. This is Rosa. This is Rosa. Her name is Rosalie, but we call her Rosa. And she's very sweet. She's just a year old. She was one of our babies here last year. Now, at Plum Loco, uh, we have all of our animals uh, neutered. 
so we control the population. Our animals have a permanent home for life, so once they come onto this farm, they're here for good. Uh, so we have to control the population. When we do have babies, it's because some of the elders have passed on and we have room to take care of more, uh, but we do we keep a very close cap on how many animals we allow to come onto Plum Loco Animal Farm because it's only the two of us, myself and Jeremy, caring for them. So, you know, there is a point where nobody will have a happy home if we take on too many. So for those of you that might contact us and ask, you know, oh, can you take this animal or that animal, as much as we would love to, we simply have to say no more often than not. Here you go, Rosa. And now we'll go visit somebody else. Thank you, sweetheart. You're not getting the whole bucket, though. Now, if you want to pan around for the children's enjoyment here, we have an old vintage farm wagon that they like to climb on. And uh, a lot of people aren't getting the opportunity to stand that close to one of those things. These are our piggies. We have two piggies here at Plum Loco. We have Leilani, and over here we have Miss Lucy. And right now they're taking a sun bath outside, enjoying this beautiful weather. In the heat of the summer, we will have a mud hole for them that we fill with water several times a day. And you can watch the pigs wallow in that mud. Uh, that's where they get the reputation for being so dirty. It's not that pigs are dirty, actually they're very clean. They just use the mud as a natural sunscreen. It keeps them from being sunburned and it also keeps the insects off of them. Um, now these piggies are very clean creatures. Many people have pigs as house pets because they can be housebroken. Out in their pen, they designate a toileting area for themselves. So instead of just letting her rip wherever they happen to stand like a horse or goat would, they actually will go to their toileting area and do all of their business there, which makes our job very easy when it comes to cleaning up after them. And it looks like Lonnie is ready for something to eat. She came over to her pen. And if you can see, she's wagging her tail. Piggies will wag their tails just like dogs when they're happy. She says, come on, can I have some of that anyway? We'll give Lonnie some grain and we'll give Lonnie some carrots. And now she's really wagging up a storm. She is enjoying that very much. That Lonnie likes that very much. Here you go, Lonnie. You can have a carrot too, sweetie. And those are our piggies. Now we also have full-size horses here at Plum Loco. And we have four horses. This is Soka Horse. And Soka is a registered paint gelding. He is 13 years old. A lot of people want to know what this mask is on his face. We get that question all the time. For those of you that own horses, you probably understand what that is. But Soka has blue eyes and he has also got a white face. And when horses have white faces, especially around their eye, they can incur sunburn quite easily. So these are actually horsey sunglasses. They cut down the ultraviolet rays and they wear them during the day. And then in the evening, we take them off. And if it's raining, we take them off. Otherwise, he will wear this every day and he actually really loves it. He can see just fine. For him, it's like looking through a screen door. Um, and if we forget to put it on in the morning, when he sees us carrying it, he'll trot right up to us and drop his big old head down because he likes that it's providing him with shade all day long. And it also has the added benefit of keeping the flies off of his face. So this is our Soko horse. This is our very nice Soko horse. And let's see who else we can visit here at Plum Loco. Here's Shorty. Shorty is a Class A miniature horse. Earlier we met Rio, who's a Class B, a bit taller. Shorty is as short as they can get. And he's actually 22 years old. And look how little him is. I have to trim his forelock because it'll grow all the way down past his nose. We'll toss one to April May out here. She doesn't feel like coming up to the fence right now. Oops, sorry, Shorty. Here you go, buddy. Now, on days when we have a lot of families out, we like to bring Shorty out into the open and we will give children a turn 
Walking Shorty around Animal Acres. They love that and so does he. Shorty was raised around young children, so he's as gentle as can be and children just love petting him and walking him. Why don't you back up here and you can see this is an example of a sign. Uh, you're gonna find information signs at all of our animal pens explaining what type of animal is in the pen and then we have individual name plaques so you can see the name of the animals, when they were born, their breed, their sex, and then some specific information about their personalities. And here's our pony pen. Scratching their head on our fence. Hey you. Oh, well aren't you just looking lovely now? Aren't you just looking lovely? This pony is a Shetland. He's a gelding meaning he's a castrated male. And his mother, father, and grandparents are also here on this farm. His name is Wonder. And he's the youngest of his generation, although Wonder right now is 10 years old. But for a Shetland pony, 10 is relatively young. Shetlands usually live well into their 30s uh, if they are healthy. And they can actually go into their 40s as well. So we have a variety of ponies out here. If we walk down, this pony right here is Wonder's father. This is Sunny. This is, and the way they got their name is, we have Sunny Boy and Boy Wonder. Yes, that's right. That's exactly right. And they are all very nice and you can, they're nice to people, not so much to each other. They're kind of like gangsters to each other. But to people, they're very, very friendly.